Welcome to our second video for week four of the Authority Control class. Um, in this video, it's going to be a little bit different from the rest of the ones so far in this course. I'm not going to show you a PowerPoint slide. I'm going to just do um, some real-time navigation of how to search and how in the Library of Congress Authority file and how to interpret the authority records that you find. This is what you'll be doing in your quiz for this week, and so I would like to just give you some practice going through with some of these things. To get started, um, remember that the authority file is found at authorities.loc.gov. And to get started, you click on this big Search Authorities button here. Now you'll have to choose what kind of authority record you're searching for. Um, we're going to start with a search for the author J.D. Salinger. And so that is a personal name, and it will be found in Name Authority Headings. And you do need to remember this is an alphabetical browse. So you do need to search with the last name first, and then click on Begin Search. You'll get a list of results here, and remember that um, one with a red button next to it that says Authorized Heading, that's a good sign that that is the access point you want to use. And I think the interface is kind of clunky, you have to do a lot of clicking to get to the actual authority record, but keep going. Um, and when you see Mark, that's when you found the authority record, and you can look at the mark display and see the tags, or click this labeled display tab, and you will get um, a display without the mark tags. It will just have labeled headings. And so we see that the um, authorized access point is Salinger JD, and then his full name, Jerome David, in parentheses, and then his birth and death date. So there's a lot of information here to distinguish him from anybody else with the same name. Um, there are a number of variants here, uh, mainly words in different languages. Um, but there, again, there's one that has his full name, but not the initials JD. Um, I'm going to go back to the mark view for a second to show you some things about this. Um, you'll notice, again, that these variants are all in 400 fields. And that means don't use these. Use what's in the 100 field. And you'll notice that, um, in particular, I wanted to draw your attention to the one that says Salinger, Jerome David, and it just has the birth date without the closed date. Um, that was an older version of the heading. You can tell that by the subfield W and NAA. That's a code that means this is an older version. So that's just something to notice about personal name headings. I'm going to start a new search. And we're going to look for a corporate heading in this case. Um, corporate name headings are still name authorities, so we're going to stay with that. Remember, a corporate name is basically an organization, a company, a governing body, things like that. I'm thinking of that not just an individual person or family. Um, let's say we have an item that we want to make an access point for the American Library Association. And we see that there is a heading that says it does have an authorized heading. We'll click on the red button and click the link that says Authority Record. And then one more time, like I said, this is kind of a clunky interface, but it's free. So um, once you finally get through to the authority record itself, which could take a while, there we go, um, you'll see that in the 110 field, remember where the, everything's going to end in 10 because it's a corporate name. So 110 field, we have American Library Association. Um, in your 410s, your use for references, there's ALA, both with and without periods. Um, there's American Library Association in some different languages. Um, and American Libraries Association, which people might mistakenly use instead. So they all mean don't use this, use what's in the 110 field. So that's a search for a corporate name access point. Now what if we had something that just said it was published by ALA and it didn't say American Library Association? We could still do a name authority search or browse for ALA. And you notice that the red button here doesn't say authorized heading, it just says references. So that means um, it's not going to be the authorized heading, probably, so we'll want to know what to use instead. And you can see there are a number of options of things that have ALA as a cross-reference. Um, we find the one that we want, American Library Association, and then we're back where we started with that one, and we go ahead and click through to the authority record again. Now what about a series title? Um, that's another thing we talked about that needs authority control. Um, in this case, you would be looking for a title authority heading, so you want to choose that option from the search type menu. Um, one of the things I catalog 
here is uh, publications from the University of Nebraska Press, and they have a series about food-related literature called At Table. And so, if I and generally on the item, it appears as At Table. So that is what I will search for for my series. But I want to find what the author the authorized um, access point form is to make sure that I'm using the same terminology that somebody else cataloging a different book in this series is using, regardless of how it appears on the item itself. And we want to choose the one that is a series title, so we'll choose the second one down here and click through to the authority record. And we'll see that just a table by itself is not the correct form to use because that is in a 430 field. Remember, anything that starts with 4 means don't use that. So a table series with the word series in there, that is in the 130 field. So that is our authorized access point for the series. And that will go in an 830 field in our bibliographic record in our catalog. Now, the last search I'm going to do is for a geographic heading. We haven't done one of those yet. Um, in this authority file interface, geographic headings are considered name authority headings. So I'm going to search for Nebraska, or browse, I'm sorry, for Nebraska. And in the first result we see has an authorized heading. And it's in a 151 field because that is a geographic heading. Notice that the used for reference here is in a 451, that um, anything that refers to Nebraska when it was a territory before it was a state, that should also just fall under um, the geographic subject heading Nebraska. So this one just has one cross-reference here. So those are a few examples of how to do searches in the Library of Congress Authority file and how to interpret the authority records once you find them.